Quickly, a man says to the sixth Imam of Ahlul Bayt, Imam Jafar al Sadiq alayhi salam, he says to Ya Yabna Rasulullah, Ya Rasulullah, Ya son of the Prophet, tell us why is it that all the prophets that came, they had different types of miracles. Why is it that the Moses, Ibrahim, you know Hazrat Ibrahim alayhi salam, when he was thrown into the fire, pit of fire, the Allah Ta'ala says, Ya narukuni bardan wa salaman ala Ibrahim. O oh, fire, become a comfort for Ibrahim. So the fire didn't burn him. So this is miracle. So a man says to a Sadiq alayhi salam, that why is it that all these prophets have had different miracles? They come from the same God. Why didn't they, they have the same kind of miracle? Why didn't they just have a badge? You know, like um, I was telling uh, previously at one point, you know, LAPD, like why don't they have just a badge, you know, a, a regular badge for every prophet having the same miracle? Why, why not? So Imam al-Sadiq said that the reason for this is because Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala gave miracles to these people depending on the main, every age and generation had they were direction of their thought was different. They were attracted to different things and advancement in their times. Times of Moses, there was a whole culture of magic, illusions, and all these things going on. So Moses was given a miracle of, uh, resembling magic to have a maximum effect. Salih so, alayhi salam's time, these people were very, very great in, in making buildings out of stones. So he was given a similar miracle. In times of Jesus, for example, there was a group of physicians who could cure some kind of diseases that were incurable before them. So Isa alayhi salam was given a miracle similar to that time. But now comes the last and final prophet, Hazrat Muhammad Mustafa sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. Now comes the last prophet. What happened? In the times of Rasulullah, my dear brothers and sisters, there was a whole culture of Arabic language. There was this market of ukas, people in the markets, they had world championship of Arabic poetry. I myself studied a sabatul muallaka. That you know, uh, uh, that, that you know, the poets every year used to make this like poetry and competition, and whoever won, they used to stick it on the door of the Kaaba as a challenge. Whoever can beat it, can. So this was. The, the, the society in Arabia when the Prophet ﷺ came. And Arab, the word Arab, and Ajam, Ustaz knows better, the word Arab means, Arab means the people who can speak, who have expression. And Ajam means people who are dumb and expressionless. So these Arabs were so, pride of, so proud of themselves. This is, we are Arab, you are dumb, of their language. In this society, the Prophet ﷺ came in this society and Allah wa ta'ala revealed the Qur'an Sharif to him. And guess what? All poetry championships, all these, you know, these meetings and these, uh, these expertise were finished. Because the Qur'an Park came and in this society, these Arabs who were so proud of the Arabic, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says in the Quran, if you think this is not the book of God, then bring a, a book like it. They couldn't do it.